welcome to Living Raw with Rosie. So I posted a pictures of sushi that I made uh, last week and I got a lot of uh, requests for a video on this uh, version of fresh uh, delicious sushi that I made just with veggies and cauliflower sticky rice that I made. So I thought I'd make this video today and show you guys exactly how I made it and how easy it is to make it. So you're going to need a food processor, you're going to need a nut milk bag, any nut milk bag that you have, you're going to need uh, half a cauliflower and you could just cut it up in pieces like that, you're going to need some tahini butter and you're going to, or tahini, uh, ground up tahini, it's uh, just ground up sesame, you're going to need pink Himalaya salt and you're going to need any uh, type of veggies that you guys like that you want to use. In this case, I'm only using three. I'm using red bell pepper, carrots, and avocados, sliced avocados. Now how I do this, I want to show you, oh, and before I show you how to do that, and you're going to need some uh, nori sheets. In this case, I have organic raw nori sheets that I get from Whole Foods. But really quick on the veggies, I use my heart peeler. You can order this on www.heartpillar.com. It is the best tool you could possibly have if you love eating healthy. So basically you just kind of just run your veggies back and forth and that slices them very thin for your sushi and other recipes. Same thing with the carrots. You will love it. I re highly recommend that. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put our cauliflower in the food processor. We're going to process it. I had everything ready, but I forgot the lid. So let me grab that really quick. All right, here we go. So we're going to put our cauliflower in there. Just like that. And you can start pulsing it. And you, find, you want it like a rice consistency and what I found is if you cut up your cauliflower pieces into little bite size it's easier and faster to uh, grind it through the food processor. So there you go that was really quick see so you want like a rice consistency so we're going to put this aside then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put your rice through this nut milk bag so let me take the blade out of here and of course I'm not prepared. I don't have my spatula. Let me grab that as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> so we're going to put that right inside the nut milk bag. Be careful with that. I have to be careful because I don't want it to spill everywhere. So this is an upgraded uh, version of sushi that I made because I have, I think I believe I have two other videos of how um, I used to make sushi, but I actually, after making it a couple of times, I started perfecting the recipe to make it quick, easy, and keep it just as delicious. So once you put it in the nut milk bag, let me move this stuff aside so you guys can see, you're going to start squeezing it and you want to get all that liquid out of the cauliflower just like that. So kind of squeeze it for a while. You want to make sure you get as much, as the, much of the liquid as possible out and the reason you do this is if you don't do this process, the reason we do this process is because we don't want our sushi to be uh, soggy and mushy. And what I found is that this helps you put your sushi away and keep it in the refrigerator for the next day. So I enjoy taking this to lunch, to work for lunch as well. And it tastes so fresh and delicious the next day as well. So once you get all that, as much of the liquid as possible, it takes a lot of uh, elbow grease. You really have to squeeze hard. So 
So hopefully I got as much of the liquid as I can. Wow, just when you think you have most of the liquid out, you more of it keeps coming. There we go. I don't know if you guys could see that. But try to move it around a little to make sure you get all of, all of that liquid out. Okay, I think I'm pretty good with it. So once you get all the liquid out, go ahead and pour that in the sink. And we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the bowl. So now you have your cauliflower back in the bowl. So the next step is we're gonna put our pink Himalaya salt in there just to give it some flavor. There we go. So I would say about, it depends on what you guys want, half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, it's up to you guys. So I put some of that in there. And I'm gonna also taste it and if it needs more, I could add to it. Next thing, I'm gonna put my, um, sorry, putting my hair back, my tahini butter, my ground up tahini. And I, right now with a friend, I use different ones, but I'm using the raw tahini or from Artisan. But there's a lot of organic, other organic brands that you could buy as well. And I, it depends, I'm putting about maybe two tablespoons and what this is gonna do, this is gonna make it really sticky for you guys. And it's gonna help the cauliflower rice stick together. And in the past, when I made my uh, cauliflower rice, I was having trouble binding it together for the sushi. So this is a great way that I find, found that I could bind it together. So now that your rice, uh, your cauliflower rice, your um, tahini and your salt is together, this is the fun part. You're gonna use your hands. Make sure you wash your hands really good and scrub the inside of your nails like I did earlier. And then you're gonna have to go and start massaging it together with the tahini. And it won't work if you do it with a spoon because for some reason the tahini really, really sticks together and you're gonna have little clumps of tahini if you don't uh, mix it in with your hands because the hands is gonna allow you guys to feel all the texture and make sure that it's, it's all mixed in this very well. So once you do this, I think I have it. I think it's mixed in really well. Yeah, it feels like it is. And you could tell that if you squeeze it, it binds together like that. So before it was like really messy making the sushi when my um, cauliflower wasn't binding together with anything. So it was like little sand going all over the place trying to put it into my sushi rolls. So what you guys could do is taste it and see if it has enough salt for you. Mmm, perfect. Ooh, that's yummy. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to rinse my hands really quick. And I'm going to get my nori. My little sheet of nori here. I'm going to clean my area. So I have my little nori sheet right there. And I'm going to start with my rice. I'm going to put it my cauliflower rice. And I'm gonna start just putting it on the nori like this, flat. And you wanna spread it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly like, spread the whole rice in about half, what, like half into the nori sheet. So, and you wanna make sure it's all the way to the sides and the corners. So, on the ends. So make sure it goes all the way to the ends in the corners of your nori sheet. And be generous with the cauliflower rice. It's very healthy, delicious, and very filling. Um, this is one of my favorite things to eat. One of my favorite raw recipes. 
and super healthy. Okay. Let's see, I think I have it. Maybe a little bit more on the end over here. And it's pretty thick. I'm very generous. I'm being very generous with it. Okay. You're gonna have to constantly keep rinsing your hands with this. But as you can see, I have it halfway on my nori sheet like this. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some of your um, sliced red bell peppers, or like I said, you could do anything. You could actually do some spinach and greens as well, which actually, let me get some of that. That's a good idea. This is a great way to get some greens in there. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't planning on making the video. I just decided last minute to make it. So I got some greens here. I'm gonna open this and add greens into there. So I got the Kale Melody here, Organic Melody that I buy. Okay, get a couple of leaves of, I the spinach would look really good in there. We could put that in there. So I have the bell pepper, the spinach. I'm gonna put the carrots. And I am going to put the avocado. And you could be as generous as you like. So after that, I'm just gonna do everything over again. So I'm gonna do my bell pepper, a little bit of greens, just very little, you don't need a lot, just kind of like to go across like this, and the carrots. So as you can see, I put all the veggies like this. So now I'm going to roll my nori up. So you're going to bring, and it it's really... So no, the raw nori is just seaweed, and it really, really works well. It binds your whole sushi together. So now I'm gonna just roll it up like a burrito, and you wanna make it very tight. So just be very careful when you're rolling it, and don't make it loose. Kind of roll it up really tight in there. And what you do before you roll it up all the way to the end, put a little bit of water on my fingers and wet the end. So I have a little bowl of water, like I usually do have a little bowl of water that I dip my fingers in, but I wasn't prepared. So just turning the sink on right now. All right. And then you roll it all the way to the end. Let that sit for a minute or so while you make the rest of your sushi. And once that's ready, you can start cutting it. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. And I'll plate this for you guys too to see how delicious this looks. So you get a good knife. In this case, I have, I guess, the like the bread knife because this kind of works really good. Usually the ends, you cut them up and you put those aside because they don't come out as pretty as the rest of the sushi. They're a little bit loose. So I put those on the side, but you cut them up, I would say about an inch and a half, an inch to an inch and a half. Some of the nori sheets already have little slices that it'll show you how to cut it up, but just basically like this. So you can see both sides look really pretty and you just start plating it. And I think I'm gonna make about two, two of them that I'm gonna have and eat right now. And then what I could do with the rest is I could make them and take them to work. So on the sauce, I didn't, um, if you go to my Facebook and scroll down my timeline, you could see how I make a peanut sauce that you could use with this. I make it, I made it on 
I think some spring rolls, veggie spring rolls that I had. And the peanut sauce basically is you get organic peanut butter, put it in a little bowl. You could put some um, Mama Choi sauce, that's the raw organic uh, soy sauce in there. A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of warm water, and some um, chili flakes. Uh, mix that up really, really good, and you make this delicious peanut sauce for your sushi. Oh my God, that sounds so good. I think I'm gonna make that one. Because sometimes I just use the raw Mama Choi sauce, a little bit of fermented ginger, and that's all I need for it, but you could also do the peanut sauce. And it tastes So I wanted to plate it up really nice and pretty. So here it is, here's the finished product. And as you can see, it looks so delicious, pretty and fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy these. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Living Raw with Rosie. Why, that's where I post more pictures of what I eat daily. On Instagram, I just started it not too long ago, and you'll see great pictures of the foods that I prep daily uh, that I eat and I enjoy. Also on Facebook, I post, occasionally I post what I eat, and I try to post as much information on nutrition and the benefits of eating raw. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these videos for you guys. And thank you so much once again for um, being so nice and supporting my channel here by watching it. And I want you guys to have a great day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.